welcome back to cranking out crafts and and my name is puna. today i'm going to show you how to do a key holder which looks like this so it's pretty cool um you're gonna need a few things to start this project first you need a five by five canvas which right now in our stores is forty percent off <laughs> and then you need um, some scrapbooking paper this i cut down to four and a half inches by four and a half inches so that it's going to sit kind of nicely centered on our five by five canvas you also need a brush some mod podge some paint in a color that's going to coordinate with your scrapbooking paper and also cup hooks and then all like something a piercer so first thing that you're going to do and i've already started with this step but first thing you're going to do is paint your canvas you won't have to paint the inside because that's where your scrapbooking paper is going to go so you just paint around the edges and i kind of left it kind of shabby on the outsides and on the edges of the canvas and now um we're going to use our brush and our four and a half by four and a half canvas i mean paper to cover up that white spot that i left and then this is a really simple way to do it you're just going to take some mod podge and kind of heavily go over the paper with the Mod Podge, the back of the paper with the Mod Podge. And you want kind of a lot for this because you want it to stick really nicely to your canvas. So after you get a good coating of it, flip it over. And you notice that I don't really care that I, you know, kind of got off the sides there because I'm going to go over the whole thing one more time with Mod Podge. So I got a good layer underneath my scrapbooking paper and now I'm going to get a good layer on the top of it and go over the whole thing like this. If you see some of the edges start to come up you can always go underneath the paper again and try to get more Mod Podge under there but we're going to go right over it. Do you notice this is the same um, brush that I used to paint the canvas with. It's not too bad because it's getting a little bit of paint on my paper and it's kind of making it look even better. <laughs> so after you're done covering the whole thing and I cover up the sides too so that the sides will be uh, just like the, the front of it. So you're going to paint the whole thing with Mod Podge and then let it dry. Once it dries it's going to be clear. You're, you're not going to see any of this white part. And then when you're dry figure out which way you want your canvas to face up and on the underside I'm going to start by making three holes with our all and I'm just essentially going to find out where I want to place my cup hooks and get a starting point for them so what I did was in the center and then about half an inch from either side Oops. just like that and then with our starting point Done. We're just going to take our cup hooks and start screwing them into the canvas. And once you have that little point that you've started, it makes it pretty easy to screw them in. I want to screw them in pretty well, but I also want the cup hooks to face in a certain direction. So I want them facing out. So you're going to do that with the other two, and you're going to end up with a product like this. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.